Hey guys, Mr. Short Hitter here. You don't look like a short hitter to me. You will not believe what I found. Just played a break 55 with Jeff out here from the forward tees. So this course is a lot different from back here. 327, Island Green. Okay, went right at the tree. We'll see where we're at. So are you guys wondering what I found? Well, let me show you this. This box, Nitro Elite, Pulsar Tour. That's right, guys. Good old Nitro has come out with a tour ball with a urethane cover. They have a three-piece and a four-piece model. I'm going to give the three-piece a try. Okay, guys, we have an island green here, 90 yards. Lucky enough that I'm close enough to this tree here. But we need to hit a good shot because we do not want to lose this nitro golf ball. I got a dozen, but maybe this is the first nitro ball that you actually don't want to lose. 90 yards. Any wind is helping, but not much. I'm going to go ahead and hit a 50 degree wedge here. Kurt going by. Go ahead, Kurt. Okay. 90 yards, ball's above my feet a little bit, so I'm going to choke up just a tad. Okay, didn't hit that ball very well, but actually spun back a tad. So, I don't know, maybe it's got some spin. Okay, it didn't actually spin backwards. It kind of bounced up and looks like it just kind of checked really quickly. But still, still pretty good for a, for a nitro. I got this ball at PGA Superstore for... $25 a dozen. It has a alignment aid. I'll show you that. It's got two red lines on the side of the aid. So if you like a lot going on with your alignment aid, this would be that. So guys, one thing I'll say about this ball, it is a very, very white golf ball. Looks whiter than even like a chrome saw to me. Very shiny. This ball feels pretty firm. Pretty firm. For urethane cover, I think this compression is like 85. 305 to the flag, 283 to cover that bunker, which is a very important number. So 305, we'll go ahead and hit a four hybrid down there. Pins on the right. We would rather be on the right side. See what we can do. Okay, we're on the left side. Well on the left side. So we'll have some trouble there with that tree. But the shot felt good. Felt solid. The ball is definitely on the firmer side. All right, guys. So this pin was tucked all the way in the back. So there really was no... I mean, this ball, I had 117. It flew three yards past the flag, which for me... 120 yard carry with a pitching wedge that is an awful lot there's really no wind to speak of i would never think to fly that ball past that flag a couple quick ones in for darkness we've got 170 here well this nitro jumped off the face pretty good so I carry this five hybrid about one six five. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit five hybrid here. See if we can get that same jump here. Okay. That was going a tad left of the flag. Not sure how far it flew. I don't we'll see. So guys, the more I hit this ball, 
the more it's hard for me to actually believe this is a urethane covered golf ball. Like it doesn't look like a urethane covered golf ball. It looks like a ionomer covered golf ball like you would get. I don't know. It just definitely doesn't look like a urethane cover. It's a little little clicky off the face. It's not, you know, it didn't even hit that ball very hard. Three ninety or so from back here. You know, I thought that I hit that last hybrid where it would carry further than it did. I didn't hit it great. Just wondering if these numbers are going to be consistent when I go indoors with this golf ball. Little right of center. Hit that ball decent. Ball mark is by the camera here. 404 actually from where I teed off. 201. So I hit that drive 203. It carried about 200 yards. Um, we'll hit a high wood. I think it was cutting a little. So guys, I will say this. As I'm playing with this Nitro Tour Elite, don't feel like I'm playing a tour level golf ball for sure. I feel like I'm playing a cheaper golf ball with an ionomer cover, pretty firm feeling. I'm kind of doubting I'm going to get a lot of spin when I look at the numbers inside. And we'll see how consistent it is, but I'm not liking this so far. Rolled out. So guys, I know it's impossible to judge just shot to shot, but that pitch shot I hit rolled out. A lot more than I expected it to. Thought I was going to stop by the hole. So guys, I definitely will tell you, I feel the firmness of this golf ball. You know, I normally wouldn't hit a pitch shot here, but just trying to get the feel for it. Kind of looks like it, for me at least, it hits and skips forward. That one kind of looked like it wanted to check. That one a little harder. Yeah, this ball is just rolling out. But guys, this sand is very soft and very fluffy. I can open it up and not have to worry about digging. Yeah, well, I went pretty deep there. That one at least didn't skip forward on me. Another little chunk and run. Hit one just a little closer to the ball here. Not much to say there. Now for the numbers for the Nitro Tour ball from 50 yards, it launched about two and a half degrees higher than the Pro V1, had about 500 rpm less spin the descent two degrees steeper peak height one yard higher 500 rpm less spin not bad but i felt like around the greens with some of those pitch shots that i was hitting when i played that the ball didn't have a lot of spin at all so maybe from 50 yards it's a little bit better than just chipping and pitching around the green but you're not going to expect as much spin out of this ball with little chip shots and little pitch shots but also the launch a couple degrees higher and that's generally what i get when i hit an ionomer cover ball from 50 yards we get 
that two, three degrees higher launch angle. So again, not really sure how much uh, of this cover is actually urethane, but it's definitely not the same cover that I'm used to hitting a urethane cover golf ball. Now with the seven iron, the ball speed was the same, launched about a degree higher, spin 800 RPM less, the descent angle, peak height, pretty close. The carry actually three yards longer and the total four yards longer due to less spin and a higher launch. The driver, two miles per hour, less ball speed, launched very close to the Pro V1, 200 RPM more spin. The descent peak height, pretty close. I got nine yards less carry with the Nitro Tour than the Pro V1 and 11 yards less total distance. And what I found is the spin indoors was very inconsistent. And I had some balls that were spinning 3,400 RPM. And I thought I hit good drives and the spin was just kind of all across the board. But overall was, was pretty high, especially compared to a Pro V1. Leave down in the comment section any balls that you want to see me review or any videos that you want to see me do. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, Mr. Shore Hitter, out.